Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and in this video I'm going to introduce some earth energy healing techniques that you can use to repair, replenish and rejuvenate the earth's energy network. Like all other networks, the earth energy network requires monitoring, change and maintenance. It needs capacity planning, testing and repairs to breakages caused by misuse through ignorance, accident and even willful and malicious damage. Networks have a tendency to grow, to expand, and they need to be updated to cope with the expanding demand. They need to be resilient in the face of temporary outages so that traffic is rerouted when required. If you are interested in participating in the repair and replenishment of the Earth's energy network, then here are a few methods. There is a process to suit just about all character types. Armed with this knowledge, you too can be one of the Earth Energy Network Engineers, or perhaps that should be GNE, Gaia Network Engineers. First, let's take a look at visualization. This is something anyone can do at any time. It's a method that has been used for millennia and gained a resurgence in recent decades thanks to groups like Fountain International. Visit fountaininternationalmagazine.com for more information and to download copies of their free e-magazine. The process is simple but effective. Get into a meditative state and visualize a powerful channel of pure divine energy descending in a column into a focal point in your local community or into a node point in the planetary network. Now imagine that same light spreading through the various channels and connections within the network. As it spreads wider and further afield, its positive and beneficial effects are transferred into the surrounding areas. Think of blood spreading through capillaries bringing life and energy, or pure cool water flowing into dried out and dusty pipes. Imagine broken connections repaired in the network and light traveling through forgotten channels once again. This method is best suited for introverts who like to meditate alone or anyone who likes to socialize and meditate with groups. Now let's take a look at pilgrimage. Walking Britain's old straight tracks and winding pathways is another way of bringing them back to life. Seek out the many footpaths and make use of them. Go on longer walks along routes that have been used for thousands of years. As you visit any ancient site or node in the network, henges and holy wells, churches and hill forts, standing stones and tumuli, etc., approach with reverence and say a silent greeting to the spirit of the place. And remember to give thanks as you leave. Pay your respects, just as you would behave with appropriate decorum in a mighty cathedral or quiet small church. The British Pilgrimage Trust has more information in their own words, we aim to revive the British pilgrimage tradition of making journeys on foot to holy places. Visit BritishPilgrimage.org for more information. The Gatekeeper Trust is another organization that does very similar and complementary work. In their own words, the Gatekeeper Trust is a registered educational charity founded in 1980 devoted to personal and planetary healing through pilgrimage. Visit gatekeeper.org.uk for more information. And these methods are best suited for anyone, and also introverts who like to walk alone or in small groups. Now let's look at fairs and festivals. Fairs and festivals held on or near node points on the network are another way of renewing and replenishing the energy. Many of them begin with or involve processions along a section of the network. These often culminate in the main fair being held on or near a holy place in the landscape. Many of these traditions have survived into the 21st century, so if one takes place near you then be sure to go along and participate, rather than merely spectating with phone in hand. Google for a list of folklore events, folk festivals and other traditional ceremonies in your local area. You may be surprised just how many there are and how easily you can be involved. But beware, you may be drawn into dancing and singing. Your antics may be filmed and end up on YouTube. And you may experience fits of uncontrollable laughter. Best suited for 
Extroverts and other outgoing types who always dance as if no one is watching. Finally, a quick look at the Gaia method. In the founder's own words, the Gaia method is a method of healing the feminine aspect of the Earth's consciousness. She continues, it is primarily a way for humanity to reconnect with the consciousness which was once known and understood as the Great Mother. For more information on this emerging method, please visit thegaiamethod.wordpress.com. Whatever method you choose, it might prove useful to you to keep records of your meditations, visualizations, dreams and coincidences. A journal or blog of your activities will grow into a useful record over time. You will be able to reflect on what you have learned and achieved as the months roll by. Without these records, much can be lost. It need not be public, and you can keep a hand journal or a public blog, whatever suits you. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this of interest and that you are inspired to find out more. Please give this video a like and post a comment. And please share it with anyone who might be interested.